professional boxing with all gay fighters. I call it Friday night sissy fight. You know, when you look at the fighters today versus what you were doing in there, what do you, what do you think when you see these young guys in there mixing it up? I think they're a bunch of sissies. Oh, really? Yeah. And why is that? Well, they should be wearing purses and, you know, half of them paint their damn toenails. What the hell is that all about? You know, they should be putting on makeup and lipstick and prancing around, you know, and high heels. And they probably do it half the time anyways when they're training. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. You can't win them all or can you? In the case of Bud Light sponsoring the UFC for hundreds of millions of dollars, a lot of people were like, whoa, man, the boycott is now officially over. Maybe they'll boycott UFC. The tempers were flaring, people were getting upset, and now I'm starting to see how amazing this deal actually is. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? Because Dana White's calling people dummies and ripping the effing idiots who are trying to boycott UFC now because the deal's saying you can't be mad at somebody forever. Robbie Starbuck noted something very, very interesting when this deal was inked. That Bud Light has effectively bought all of the opinions of UFC fighters, which is a very masculine sport. Of course, that's what Bud Light is trying to do, trying to buff off the Dylan Mulvaney of their image and add, you know, masculinity back to their image. Even though, as the Babylon Bee says, to shed gay beer image, Bud Light partners with sport where sweaty men in underwear hug for 25 minutes. <laughs> People are asking, will Dylan Mulvaney be a ring girl? Okay. <laughs> okay, so everyone's getting roasted here, but this is such an important thing that they, they have effectively, by doing this, bought all of the quite politically incorrect opinions of the masculine UFC fighters. For instance, a man named Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland is here to fix Bud Light. Bud Light, the official beer of UFC, and middleweight champion Sean Strickland is here to fix the beer company after they inked the $100 million deal. My God, Sean Strickland, who is very not politically correct, very fratty in his humor, as Bud Light executives would say, released this incredible video seconds ago in a message directly to Bud Light. Hey guys, I'm on my way to training, and I just found out Bud Light's a new sponsor. And God damn, I applaud you guys. I am so proud of you guys for doing the right things after that fuck up. You know how I feel about transgenders. I go hard, just what I do. I'm the biggest advocate of biological females. If I said my views on transgenders, I would get kicked off Instagram. But I cannot wait to pick up a big old Bud Light can and fix you, Bud Light, because you guys are doing the right thing. I, Sean Strickland, a representation of the American people, are gonna fix you, Bud Light. Thank you for giving me money. Thank you for supporting my platform. I'm gonna help you guys. Okay, so that's not just some random towel boy in the UFC. This is a guy who is the current UFC middleweight champion of the world, Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland is famous for having, uh, what did, what did you say? Like, pol politically incorrect. Who cares politically incorrect? Like, the vast majority of people believe this. This is the kind of stuff that Sean Strickland says. He'll just say it now with a Bud Light can in his hand. Oh, and by the way, by the way, as I fill up my 2018 Nissan Frontier looking for sponsorship Nissan, I just want to say, let's go, Brandon! <laughs> Sean Strickland, big time Trump supporter. Hard to even look at the U.S. flag with respect. Sean Strickland critical about Donald Trump's arrest before the election. So he has been hard in the paint in favor of Donald Trump. Obviously a Trump fan talking about the political persecution of Donald Trump. Not a Trump fan, but man, 37 charges before an election. Hard to even look at the U.S. flag with respect these days, says Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland, baby, going after Mark Zuckerberg. Again, Bud Light, you bought this man's opinions. Man, F Mark Zuckerberg, dirty communist. <laughs> no one wants your goggles and your disinformation censorship. Facebook market gets a pass. Elon Musk come to Vegas and we will put in the work. Sean Strickland did offer to train Elon Musk to fight, quote unquote, dirty communist Mark Zuckerberg. So amazing, the times that we live in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is something that, you know, I, I can see as a big silver lining here, all right? I wanted Bud Light to be done and over with. And of course, they've lost billions of dollars. And I don't think those, they'll ever come back. 25% of their market share, gone forever, right? But, ladies and gentlemen, 
I think that it's, this is going to be create a very interesting and uh, fascinating paradigm. Mark Dice saying this is the dumbest move in marketing history uh, to have as Bud Light is their official sponsor saying that people are morons. I say no. I say no. I say let it happen. Because have you ever heard these fighters? Have you ever heard these interviews? You ever heard what these guys say? At and during these interviews? Like the pro-Trump, pro-America? Like who becomes a UFC fighter eventually in, in their lives? Who... What kind of lives do people lead? What kind of people lead the lives that ends up in the UFC fighter ring? It's not the soy boys. It's not the baristas. It's not the frappe crew. Uh, Bud Light is effectively purchasing the largest platform for Trumpism, America first, and for family values uh, that exist in sports. The NBA, the NFL, the NHL, they're all utterly owned by the woke left and they're suffering greatly for that uh, horrible pain. But the B Bud Light isn't sponsoring them. They're sponsoring the UFC. They're going hard at men. So what does this also take, uh, what does this also pr pr prove to me? Well, it proves to me where the actual value was. The value for Bud Light was clearly in men, men who watch UFC and manly sports activities. Like this is it is so cataclysmic, the unbelievable galactic level F up by Bud Light in partnering with Dylan Mulvaney is now come full circle. So now Bud Light is saying is everyone be damned. We're just going to go in and sponsor Sean Strickland, which is, I mean, you got to like, this is like the anti, the antibody Dylan Mulvaney It's like the opposite bizarro world nuclear opposite of Dylan Mulvaney, Bud Light's now sponsoring that person. Doesn't give him a pass. Doesn't mean I didn't, that I don't want the boycott. You won't find me with a can of Bud Light. Uh, you won't find me drinking it. But it is fascinating how the world has utterly reversed. And now the biggest platform for America First and Trumpism is now sponsored by Bud Light. They're paying for it. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Kind of an incredible, like kind of an incredible F you. Like actually just the greatest, sweetest revenge. And in case you're wondering exactly what other opinions that the uh, failing beer brand Bud Light has purchased, well, here's just a really small sampling. Good job, Bud Light. Here's your fratty and out of touch opinions that you now own. Galen Maxwell just got put away for 20 years. Yeah. So she was supplying kids for these pedos, right? Where's the list? Yeah. Is it is it, as that just gets like, I don't know. It's weird that that got no coverage, but Johnny Depp and Amber was everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. And I'm like, so the list of, you know, politicians and actresses and actors or whatever that they talked about, does that get swept under the rug? Do they not get any time for actually in those kids? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, this, that's weird that how that just doesn't compute with me. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the whole Russia and Ukraine situation. You know, um, he, here's my first thought is I'm not going nowhere to fight none of these wars for these politicians. I'm staying at home. And when the war comes to Arkansas, I will dig my boots in the ground and I will die for everything I love. And I will not retreat if this country is invaded and... Everybody's saying, well, we got to we got to evacuate. We got to leave. We got I will not. I will dig my boots in the Arkansas soil and I will fight for the people that I love, for the land that I love and the way of life that I love. But I'm not going overseas to fight. I don't know what's going on, to be honest, brother. I really don't. There's so much stuff. And I don't think nobody knows what's going on fully. There's been so much political corruption in that area. You got Biden and his son making a ton of money off of uh, and using our tax dollars to bribe their people. That's treasonous in my opinion. Uh, so you got Hunter Biden and his son using our tax dollars. Hey, if, if Ukrainian government, if you don't do this, we're taking your tax dollars. He shouldn't be giving our tax dollars to that country anyway. We got veterans out here sleeping on the street and you're gonna give our freaking tax dollars to these Ukrainians and all the, I, brother, I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm not going over there and fighting and God bless anybody that's over there is fighting and I hope that the just get solved and man i don't like war you know what i mean i don't want people dying and all that stuff i don't want to be but i don't know what's going on there's so much stuff that i think that's corrupted that we just don't know what's truly going on over there and i just i pray all those people are safe